You know, I wanted to have a product that didn't have sweeteners in it, that I was hugely addicted to Diet Coke for years and, you know, never really thought that it was, you know, unhealthy. And then when I was taking a break from work and, you know, was, had had three kids at that time, I have four kids now, but I was, you know, trying to get myself in shape. And what I really quicker, quickly realized was that, the diet sweeteners, um, and and I was definitely ahead of my time, but you know this was a little over fifteen years ago. Were you know causing me to overeat, hang on to weight, and I had never been a big person. It was it was crazy, and so I, you know, really took a look at everything that I was eating and drinking and, and ingredients and. What shocked me was the ingredients in uh, in the Diet Coke that I was drinking. And so I gave it up, not really, more as a test, more than a commitment, and, uh, and recognized that what I was looking for, um, you know, was just a better tasting water. I aspired to be a water drinker, but, you know, grew up in Arizona and should have been drinking a lot more water, but I just wasn't. And so I um, started slicing up fruit and throwing it in water. And, and when I, you know, had gotten off of Diet Coke, I, I actually lost over 50 pounds in six months, which is a 50? 50, 55 pounds in six months. And I had terrible adult acne that had developed over, you know, the years. And um, I was like, I couldn't figure out what was going on. I went to all these dermatologists and, you know, didn't like you know, want to go on Accutane or anything as I was, you know, having kids. And, and so then I really, you know, now I recognize that like your skin's your largest organ. And my skin was actually telling me that things were not working inside. And so when I converted from drinking diet soda over to drinking water, I, um, you know, I, I lost all this weight, my skin cleared up, my energy levels were up. But I was bored because I just wasn't a water drinker. And so I started slicing fruit and throwing it in water. And I was like, that does the trick. And then I looked for this product in like a, you know, single serve option that I could just go to the store and buy that versus the diet soda. And everything was made with fake fruit. You know, it was just flavor companies that were adding stuff. And actually at that time, it was also um, filled with some sort of sweetener, whether it was sugar or, NutraSweet or, you know, Splenda or something today at Stevia. And so, you know, I really recognized how, you know, I, I talked about overeating, like for me, it wasn't, um, you know, chewing on 10 or having 10 cupcakes a day, it was like eating candy and, you know, and sort of like just grabbing whatever I could in order to throw stuff in inside of me because I was just getting a crate, like a sweet craving. And so, um, so when I had this idea, because I couldn't find it on the shelf to develop hint, it was, um, you know, I always tell other entrepreneurs, like I didn't aspire to be the next Red Bull executive or, you know, founder or even Diet Coke. I mean, that was like the farthest thing. I was actually trying to solve a problem for myself. 